So I want to talk about two safety uh, components of training, especially when it comes to the ground. They're very important that a lot of time our students don't think about, but we need to be able to focus. So one of them is when we're taking the back. A lot of time, if Jason's in this position, we'll see students coming back from the back, we'll be jumping on there, putting the hooks in, and going straight backwards. And if you see, Jason's uh, ankles have nowhere to go. So this is a very bad position. So let's say that I am taking his back and I put my hook in. I'm actually going to take Jason sideways, okay? So it's a lot safer and kind of work from there. But I am not going to, I am not, okay? With a big X on top. I'm going to be here, take his back, and send him straight backwards. Now, same thing, a similar position is going to be when the pressure is forward, meaning, let's say that I'm here. Come on, this seven seconds, Jason, so that side. And he's in my guard. Sometimes if he's sitting back on his heels, okay, and I'm going out for a Kimura or I'm going out for a sweep, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, if I'm sending Jason the right way and taking him to the side, that's no problem. But a lot of times what happens, people tend to sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up, and still put pressure on those uh, uh, ankles. So it's very important, especially sometimes, I don't know if you can do it because I'm pretty strong, pretty big, but pull back, go back, go back, go back, go back, especially when he sits up all the way all the way, and now all of a sudden the person stands up and it puts his pressure backwards, okay? Big no-no. So, never feel like you have to do a movement that might hurt your partner. But it's very important to understand, again, anytime either because of this pressure or from the back to that, where the ankles are going straight back, it is always a no-go. Always to the side.